Hey everyone, Casey here. Uh, today I am bringing you a video of something I'm pretty excited about. Um, a lot of people have been doing no buys and Project 10 pans and stuff like that, and um, I really need to stop buying makeup too. <laughs> so, um, at least temporarily. Now, there's people outside. <laughs> um, so, I'm not doing necessarily a Project 10 pan or a no buy. I'm doing something a little bit different. I actually have 21 products in my little bucket here. I would really yeah. just like to use the rest of the product up because there's half full or less than half full and I have backups that I've bought that I like a little bit better. So I'd like to just go ahead and get through this stuff because I know if I don't make a conscious effort to use it, I'm not going to and then it's going to go bad or it's just going to get ignored in the abyss of my makeup drawers because there are other things that I've gotten to replace them. So I want to just make a conscious effort to use this stuff up. So I'll just kind of go through it and tell you guys what I'm trying to use and tell you kind of why. And I'll definitely you know, be giving you guys regular updates on how I'm doing it. But until everything in this box is used up, I am not allowed to buy any makeup. Not foundation, not lotion, not anything. Because I have plenty. I have backups of all of this, multiple backups of all of these things. Okay, so um, first thing, I'll start off with the face products first. Um, the first two things I'd like to use up are these two things from Bare Minerals. Um, this is a medium beige foundation and there's very little of that left and a mineral veil, which again there's very little of that left. I don't know if you can see how full these are, but they're not very because I counted and I have two open of each of these so I've got backups of both of these that are already open plus unopened I have three full mineral veils and four full foundations I don't need <laughs> to book purchase more of these anytime soon I am set so I'd like to use up the little bits that are left in these because they're, what's the point of having four open of these uh, the next thing is this foundation. This is CoverGirl Clean for Sensitive Skin in number 225 Buff Beige. See that? And um, I have used this maybe five times. <laughs> Not because I didn't like it, but actually when I bought this it was probably about a year ago and that might be gross but I still have it. But whatever, I don't care. <laughs> and this was actually the first foundation I had bought in probably five years because I'd been using the Bare Minerals during most of high school and well after high school. And I actually I bought this um, because I was going to a concert and I really wanted to look, you know, porcelain and perfect skin and everything like that and the bare minerals this just is didn't too do light that. for me even now and I'm pale in the winter time. So I know that there's only a very limited amount of time left what where I still can use this because as soon as we start getting into summer, there's no way that I'll be able to wear this because it'll be way too light. Um, I'm wearing it right now topped with one of the next products products I'm going to talk about along with a ton of bronzer <laughs> all over. It's very light. It's also very, very sheer coverage, which I'm kind of okay with. Right now I'm kind of breaking out, but lately uh, I've been wearing liquid foundation almost every day just because I like the way it looks, but I didn't really need all that coverage, so I think I should get some good use out of this. Very, very full. This is probably what's going to take me the longest to finish. Um, but the next product is the NYC Mosaic face powder and as you can see I've already long past hit pan on this product but it's it's the one that I had you know before I started getting super obsessed with makeup and as soon as I started buying more face powders I just stopped using this completely so I would like to use that up just clear out some space what prompted this is because I was cleaning my bathroom and cleaning my vanity and I was going through everything and I realized that I am out of space in my bathroom. Completely out of space. So I need to clear at least some things out so that I can function in my bathroom because I just have no more areas to put things. Um, okay, so next um, is this 
blush and bronzer duo, and it's definitely seen better days. It's being held together by tape. Um, and so obviously I've used the blush a lot more than the bronzer because at one time this was the only blush that I owned. So that should tell you something about how much my collection has grown because I literally only used to have one blush. And I never really wore bronzer before, although there's a pretty good dent in there. And it's not a bad bronzer, I just haven't used it in this duo for a long time. Um, but I'd like to get through that. And by the way, this is um, Physicians Formula Organics line. And then next, I actually have two concealers. They're my Essence concealers. This has been my pick of the week before. And um, they're not bad concealers by any means. I actually quite like them. Um, they're not quite as full coverage as some of the concealers that I've recently bought. I recently got the Maybelline Mineral Power concealers as well as uh, the Milani HD concealer and I'm liking those ones a lot. Probably a little more than these so I'd like to use these up. And there are two different colors. Um, 10 natural beige and 20 soft beige. They're very similar in color. One, um, this one's just a little bit lighter so this is like under eye area versus blemishes, things like that. So next up, um, I've got some mascara-ish products. Um, so I have two mascaras and a mascara primer. So these mascaras, there is less than half in each of these. I realized I had four open mascaras, which may not seem like a lot to some beauty addicts and probably would seem ridiculous to normal people, <laughs> but I had four open mascaras plus this mascara primer plus um, one mascara that's still in the packaging that hasn't even been opened yet. So these both have less than half. This is the Prestige My Biggest Lashes Mascara, which has a super, I don't know if you guys have seen these before, super, super big, big brush. And actually, I like it quite a bit. But again, just trying to clear out space. And then the Maybelline One by One Volume Express Mascara. And the mascara primer, I actually don't have anything else like this, but and so maybe if I was to purchase one of these type of things before I finish everything else, it might be something like this because I really like it. The only reason this is in here is because I do like it and I want to make a conscious effort to wear it more. That's the only reason this one is in there. It's the e.l.f. mascara primer. So I think it really improves your other mascara products, especially when you have had them a little bit longer like these and you're trying, you're, you know, kind of getting in the last bits and it's starting to dry up just a little bit, this will make it like a brand new mascara. So those are the mascara products. And then moving on, I have, I have two I have two lip products uh, that I would like to use up, uh, and these are the only ones that were half gone, so that's why I chose these, chose these two to be, um, and, it, and they're both very sheer, so it's not like I'm going to be stuck with one color for this entire project. Um, so they're very sheer, so on the days that I don't really feel like wearing a lip product, I can just throw one of these on. Um, this one is Baby Lips by e.l.f. It's one of the luscious liquid lipsticks and then this one I honestly have no idea what the brand or <laughs> anything is because apparently the packaging wasn't too awesome because the name and everything has just rubbed off. I've had these for a while but if it were to all slide down you would see that it's only about half full and I'm wearing that right now too so as you can see it's very very sheer. Okay and then I have two eyelid primers. It's the exact same eyelid primer, but I l literally have um, like two more of these, of these exact same ones, plus a Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So I, I like I don't need to buy any more, but I bought extras before I had finished these, so I just want to make sure that these get emptied out before I uh, start using the other ones. So these are exactly the same. And then I have a bunch of mini products and samples that I'd like to use up because I always forget that I have 
some of the mini stuff and some of the samples. So I'd like to, you know, just kind of clear those out. So for the minis, I have two face primers, the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer, which I do quite like this a lot. It's probably, I don't know, it's probably about half empty. That stuff, this thing has lasted me so long. I use it all the time. And there, I feel like I really have not put that much of a dent in it. I guess it's just because you don't need very much. And the other mini is the That Gel Primer, which if you read my recent post about the Big Ten set, this is in it. Um, I don't love this. I don't, but I don't want to throw it away. It seems like a waste, so I just like to use it up. And then, oh, I have one other actual eye primer. That's the Bare Minerals Prime Time. And I got this in one of my Bare Minerals shipments, and they gave it to me as a sample. And I really, I don't think I've, this has been opened. Um, because I never think to use it because it's so tiny it gets lost. I think that's that's the biggest thing with the samples and like the little stuff it just gets lost so I, I forget about it. Um, but I'd be interested to, in trying this and testing it out. And there's probably enough in there to even get a review out of it. So, um, Oh, actually, okay, out of control. I have four eye primers in here. Oops. Um, the other one is also from the Big Ten set. It's the Benefit Stay, uh, Stay Don't Stray. It's another eyelid primer. So I'd like to get that used up also. There's not a ton of product in there, and like I said, I have other eye primers that I like a little bit better, so I'd like to just clear through that. Um, oh, and then this little mineral powder blush. It's called Day Glow 3-in-1 from Coastal Scent. Haven't even opened it yet. I have no idea even really what color it is. <laughs> but again, the tiny things, I'd like to just get through all of those. And then I also have two other uh, samples from uh, Bare Minerals. And these shouldn't obviously should not take me very long at all because you can probably use them once and be done with them. But it's the uh, Bare Minerals Purifying Facial Cleanser and the Bare Minerals Renew and Hydrate Eye Cream. I'm actually, I'm kind of excited to try this one because I don't use eye cream as it is right now and I really should. So maybe if I like it, I'll repurchase it. But I've had some of these little samples around forever. Like I got all of these free samples with my Bare mineral shipments and I just never tried them. So they've been sitting in my drawer forever. So I just like to go ahead and try those out. So that is all of my things, that is my 21 products that I'd like to use um, before I can buy anything else. So hopefully um, I won't give in to pressure. <laughs> if I do, I will let you know, but um, I'm going to try really hard to not buy anything else until all of this stuff is done. So wish me luck, and until next time, bye.